Okay, before I clear coat this bad boy, I'm going to add a little bit of chipping. And I'm going to do that with a brush. And I'm not going to go overboard. I, th I think I'm not a big fan of brush chipping. There's some people that can do it really well. I'm not one of those. But I just think this needs a little bit, a little bit of extra something. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use some of this Vallejo pale blue gray. Uh, instead of using like aluminum, I find it, it's best to use like a, a lighter gray color for your chipping. So I'm going to take a fine tip brush. And I'm just going to go along in certain areas, get a little bit on my brush. Just uh, kind of just randomly go along and make little chip marks. I might need a little bit lighter gray to show up. No, I think this will work out. So let's zoom in so you can kind of see how I'm doing this. Get a little bit, and I'm just gonna go along some edges, and I'm just lightly going along, and I'm not intentionally trying to make chips, I'm just trying to barely get the brush in there. Because if you intentionally try to make chips, they come out not looking like chips. Maybe along here. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe chip along this thing here. Don't really like the look of that one. So I'm just gonna use some spit and wipe it off. So this is acrylic, it can, can you can wipe it off pretty easy. And I'm just gonna do that in certain places throughout the plane. It's just going to give it a little extra, little extra feel as I call it. And a little extra something, something. So I'm going to finish doing that and then I'm going to clear coat it and then we'll come back when I uh, get ready to put the panel line wash in. All right, before we get started with today's antics, I would like to show you what my daughter had surprised me with this morning. She decorated the uh, Prime Model Works headquarters with Christmas decorations. And she gave me a little tree. And a bow. And a wreath. Made me smile this morning. So, just thought I'd share that. Alright. I have put a flat coat on it. Or a, I put a clear coat on it. And then I did a panel line wash in like a sand color and I kind of left it a little more pronounced than what I normally do with my panel line washes just to to uh, give it more of a, a dirty sandy look to it and I did that all over the plane I did use a a black panel line wash for for the engine cowl to kind of initially grime it up uh, what what I'm doing now is I, after I put the panel line wash on it, I put a clear coat, a uh, flat clear coat, and now I'm starting off with a light flesh tone, and you can use buff or white. Uh, I just picked this because it's a, it's a little less stark. And what I've done is I've started over here, if I can get my camera straightened. Sorry about that, fellas. All right, 
There we go. So I've just got a little bit of this uh, light flesh tone and I've taken like a, a soft brush and what I've done, what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to go over some of the tan with this with this light flesh tone. As you can see I've already uh, done some over here and over here and along the leading edges. And basically what you do is you just get a little bit, it doesn't take much. And then I'll start to go over and I'm just gonna kind of splotch it in. And this is just gonna give it a little variation in tone. Then what I plan on doing is after I get this down to where I want it, then I will come back and I'm kind of staying away from the, the green areas. If I need to lighten those up, I'll use like a yellow. And this is just going to give like a, a blotchy, sun bleached, faded look to this, to this area, to the tan area. Then what I'll do is I'll come back and put a clear coat, a clear, another clear flat to save my work. And then I may come back with a, with a brown color and add in some, some other variations to give it a little bit more depth. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot. If you get too much, you can always wipe it off. See, I got too much there. It's easy to get too much, but that's okay. And if you get too much, you can always just take a Q-tip and blend it in a little bit. And I'll do the same thing for like the top of the cow. Now I've already, I've already used some some yellow mixed with white to kind of bleach this out a little bit, but I do want a little bit more bleaching up here. And although these are subtle. When you when you layer all these all these tones, it uh, it does make for a, a more eye eye appeal to it, and a little in my opinion a little more realistic look. And it's very it's it's you want it kind of subtle, or if you want it really bleached out. You can, I guess you could smear it with a white and do whatever, but it's kind of the way I do mine. And it's best if you do a little bit at a time, set it aside and come back and look at it. I'm going to do that over the entire upper surface. I'll set aside, look at it. I may remove some. I may add some. Then I'm going to put a clear coat, a clear flat on it, and then come back and, and do some other oil stuff. Alrighty, I've got the flat coat put on it after I've got, did all my uh, white oil work. You can see I kind of did a little bit here and here. Basically just highlighted in the middle of some panel lines and uh, just kind of did what, what I felt I wanted. And now what I've done is I've started on this wing and I've taken some different color of brown oil paint and I've thinned it out. And what I'm doing now, let's zoom in and kind of see the splotchiness over here. So now what I'm going to do is I get a brush and I get a little bit of thinner on it. 
and kind of put it on, and I'm going basically a panel at a time. And I take some different colors of brown and I kind of just dab it in there. Get some darker stuff. It's kind of like it's a dot. It's a dot filtering technique, but I'm doing something else to kind of smooth it out. So now what I'll do is I'm, I'm taking a sponge and I'm just kind of tamping it in there and spreading it out. And the reason I'm using the sponge is I can get it in a irregular shape. And I kind of play with it until I get it how I want it. And then once this dries, I can come back with a with a dry brush and smooth it out and blend it in if I don't like it. Or change it, or I can just erase it with a little bit of thinner and come back and redo it. But that, that's going to give me a variation in the tone. Of the, of the paint. So that's how I'm doing that. I'm going to do that over all the tan color and then I'll save my work once I get it to where I want it. I'll save my work with another flat clear and then um, go on to doing some more oil work. And uh, I'm kind of saving the bottom for last. I'm going to get the top. The top done get the entire upper surfaces done and then work on the bottom because the bottom's going to take a lot I think so see you in a little bit alrighty got my flat coat on it again and what I've been working on on this side is just darkening up and uh, griming up the wing root area <clears throat> and a couple different areas I've also done a little bit on the side here to kind of grime it up and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Hopefully I won't touch it. So I've got my smoke colored oil paint and I also have some engine grease. Engine grease and smoke colored. It's not real engine grease, it's oil paint, but that's what it's called. So what I'm gonna do is and I find a place to grab it. I just grab it under here. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. And I'm going to run some smoke. Right along here. And I got a little bit on there, but it's not going to matter because we can... Uh, We can take away if we don't like it. Still gonna leave some some staining if we decide to we don't like it and we take it away, but if I can get in here. So I'm gonna take a I'm just gonna kinda rub this in. In the areas that I want, I'm going to kind of follow this, these panel lines up. Get a little more in there. I know this looks messy, but I'm trying to do this on camera. And I'm just kind of Getting it rubbed in, pushing it up a little bit. And 
And the key with this stuff is just to play with it. Play with it till you get it to where you want it. So basically I'm getting the, the color down where I want it. And then I'm going to play with it. And take my Q-tip. And I start taking away, bringing it down. And if I want to remove more, get a Q-tip with a little bit of thinner in it, enamel thinner. Come down and you can shape it. And I get a dry one. I can play with it some more and I can take it up and I can move it around. I'm trying to make this pretty grimy down here. I'm going to come in here and take away some of this and kind of blend it in. See that? Now I'm going to come along here on the bottom kind of add some along here along these little doohickeys I probably still have enough on now on, on lighter colors this is really going to show up I'm just kind of smeared it in where I want it. It's got a little bit of thinner in it. Kind of cleaning it up. Now I'm going to play with this and grime up the uh, the uh, the bottom of the upper surfaces, get it to where I want it, and then I'll save it and then I'll get to work on the bottom. Alrighty fellas, I am working on another technique and this is one of my favorites. As you can see, I, I did all the uh, the oil work on the bottom. I kind of got it grimed up in the areas that I wanted wanted it grimed up, <clears throat> and uh, and that's with the same technique that I used uh, along the wing roots over here. <clears throat> I've got a an, another flat coat on it, so I saved my work. And what I'm doing now is I've got some mineral spirits. And I got some on my hand. And I've also got some uh, panel line wash. This is Ammo MIG Blue Black panel line wash. And I'll show you what I'm doing. You can see here on the, if I can do this without spilling a bunch of crap. 
right there I've already started started uh, grinding up the bottom and this is one of my new favoritist techniques <clears throat> to kind of get a, a random dirty pattern and I'll show you how I do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a brush dip it dip it in some mineral spirits and we'll do this oh that's a little too much you want to get a good coat on there good coat of mineral spirits <clears throat> Then I'm going to dip another brush in my blue-black panel line wash, and I'm going to do kind of a dot filtering technique. Then I'm going to come along with the same brush that I dipped my mineral spirits in, and I'm just going to kind of splotch it and smear it around, kind of like what I did with the the sponge technique on the top but this is going to allow that panel line wash that which is already thin to move around on its own and give me a kind of a splotchy grimy look that doesn't look intentional and what happens is when, when this dries what I can do is I can come back and I can erase some if I want. I can take another brush and play with it some more, get rid of some, basically erase what I don't want. But I kind of like that look right there. And that's how I accomplished this. Let's finish up this wing. And I do a little bit at a time. And I've spilt this panel line wash before, so. And you can do this just where you, it would be grimier. I'm just gonna do it on the bottom because that's throughout the entire bottom because that's the way I'm rolling on this plane. can see what a difference that makes and then uh, we'll let that dry I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of it and I'll let that dry and once I'm happy with how it looks then we'll move on I'm not not sure what uh, what I'm gonna do next but uh, I don't know I'll think of something <laughs> see you in a bit <clears throat> 